and welcome to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, solving equations with distributive property. Let's take a look at our problem. So here we have an equation and notice the parentheses which indicates that we will be using the distributive property. So once again, because we're solving e an equation, we want to make sure that our equation stays balanced. So I like to draw a line where my equation, my equal sign is to help me keep my equation balanced. Okay, so now that we have done that, we need to first take our coefficient that is outside of our parentheses and distribute that to the contents inside the parentheses. So notice that we have a negative symbol. Well, there's really an imaginary one here, so we're actually going to be multiplying negative one. So if we multiply negative one to five X, we get negative five X. And if we multiply negative one to a positive four, we get a negative four. And then we can write the rest of our equation. So three X minus 52. And so now we basically just have a two-step equation with variables on both sides. So we first want to move the variables to the same side, keeping in mind that we want to avoid negative exponents. So with that in mind, if I take the smaller variable and move it to the other side, I can avoid negative x coefficients. So if I do that, then I actually want to move the negative 5x. So since this is a negative 5x, the opposite of that would be a positive 5x. And I need to do positive 5x on both sides. So now these will become a zero pair, so they're going to cancel out. I'm going to bring down the negative four, and I'm also going to bring down the negative 52. So negative, bringing down negative four, three X plus five X gives me eight X, and then bring down my negative 52. Okay, now I need to undo my coefficient, which in this case would be the negative 52. So since it's negative or subtracting 52, I need to add 52 to both sides of my equal sign. I'm going to be bringing down my 8x and negative 52 and positive 52 gives me a zero pair, so they're going to cancel out. So negative four plus 52 gives me 48. And then I'm bringing down my eight X. So now I need to undo my coefficient. So since I am multiplying by eight, I need to divide by eight both sides of the equal sign. Now my eight divided by eight is going to actually cancel out. So 48 divided by eight is going to give me six. And then I'm left with X on this side. So I am done solving my equation. I do need to check my solution using Boolean algebra. So let's go to our calculator. So in our calculator, we need to store our solution, which is six. And we press the store key and we're storing that as X. And now and hit enter. And then our calculator is confirming. Then type in your equation. So it was negative parentheses 5x 
plus 4. Close parentheses. To get the equal sign, we go to second math and then choose option 1. And then it was 3x minus 52. Press enter. So remember, 1 means your solution is correct. 0 means that your solution is incorrect. So based on Boolean algebra, 6 is the correct solution. Thank you for watching an episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to solve equations with distributive property.